day. So oh, today's my last day back at home and I'm sad to go. I finished my job yesterday. Um, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. And it was so sad. Everybody cried and I'm gonna miss it a lot. It was honestly a really, really great experience, but I'm excited to head back to school and get back to my student athlete routine. So I have the long six hour drive today, which I'm not excited for, but I'm really sad to go and leave my mommy. So you guys have to look out for her, for me, because she's about to go full car life, which is gonna be crazy. She stepped back in the room. I think it'll be a fun experience for her, but we'll see. She'll keep us posted on the vlog. I'm talking. She's trying to be in our conversation. But oh, I got my nails done. They're not what I wanted, but it's okay. I'm acting like her, getting off on tangents. Anyways, um, but I think the car life will be fun. I wish we got to set her up more before I left and things like that, but I think it'll go. I think it'll go well. I'm not too nervous about it because um, she's done it a couple nights and she says it's went well. And from what she's talked about, she thinks it's real nice and cozy in there. So at least she'll feel cozy in there and things. I'm not too nervous because she says she stays in pretty like good locations, but I'm thinking like full immersed in it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And like I said, she'll keep us posted on here. But I don't know. Sydney also just moved into her new house yesterday. And I only say that because we're on the topic of living places. I'm sure she'll put in the video of Sydney's room eventually. But you guys will see it. But she's living with five other girls in one room like i'm sorry but i personally couldn't do it i couldn't do it but cindy is the type of person who might flourish in that environment just because cindy is a very like she can't be alone kind of thing so but i would just be worried about like what if it's three o'clock and i want to take a nap real quick i don't know i think she'll like it but you guys will see the video of it maybe she could put it in right here you know throw that in right here um Oops, I got caught. Hey, girl. Where's Emma? Wait, do I have a dresser? Yeah, right there. Okay. I'm going back next summer, hopefully. No. So. Everybody is stepping into some new some new journeys right now. Mom is going to go into full van living, which is going to be crazy, but I think fun to watch. Sydney is living in a she's living with house. she's living with all her sisters in her new sorority house in just one big room. So that'll be interesting to hear about from her as well. I'm just going back to school, so, you know, nothing too fancy going on, but technically it's my senior year because I'm in my last two semesters of undergrad. So hopefully you guys will see a graduation here pretty soon in May, but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so we're gonna head out and go get Dutch Bros because according to my watch, that I don't even think is the right time. I'm gonna be late. So we're gonna head out now, right? <laughs> I know she's leaving. <laughs> this morning she crawled in bed with me for a hot second. 
<laughs> I'm gonna miss having her around. I know, we were roommates for three months. Did I get on your nerves? No. Absolutely not. No, seriously, did I? No. And you know this little book ahead scared me and the beauty supply, so I've she got really you got twice. Me. I got you twice. And I scream because I didn't expect to see anybody when I turned the corner down the aisle in the, in the um, beauty supply store. And the lady up front, are you, got, are you okay? Are, are you okay? <laughs> because it was really quiet. It was yes. really quiet in there. <laughs> but we're going to head to Dutch Bros. If you guys haven't heard of Dutch Bros, I believe they're only in a couple states, Texas being one of them. But it's basically like Starbucks, but better like you know how at chick-fil-a they have the my pleasure attitude and like they're very um nice and conversationalist a little bit um but a dutch rose takes it to a whole new level so dutch rose is the chick-fil-a of the coffee world if that makes sense at all at dutch rose they have to have conversations with you they aren't allowed to turn their backs to the customers they ask you have to ask you how your day's going and like just make random conversation with you because she wants to try the strawberry horchata, I think. And I'm going to put this in it. What? I'm going to put this in it. Well, don't ruin it. You got to try it plain. Yeah, I'm going to try it plain first. But you could put this in anything. You could even put this in coffee. Mm, it'd probably be good in coffee. It doesn't have a strong taste. Okay. Well, she's going to get a strawberry horchata. And I did a whole video on this, so. Oh, you guys see, so now I'm going to. I am getting used to this, so I don't know when this video will come out because you know sometimes I jump over videos. <laughs> so, but I did do a, a video, and this is all mushrooms, of course, something on Instagram that got me, y'all. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I get a ice golden eagle with a soft top, which is basically like an ice caramel coffee. 10 out of 10 it's pretty good um so if you have a dutch bros near you go ahead and give that a try because it's real good but we're gonna head out because i'm supposed to be leaving at 10 o'clock well nine o'clock but it's already past nine i'm supposed to be leaving at 10 so we're gonna rush to dutch bros and then i'm gonna hit the road okay guys we've just made it to dutch bros what's the whole chara um it's not on this menu but for chara is sweet rice milk it's milk it's milk? Mm -hmm. Why do I want to drink milk? What? Why would I want to drink milk? Well, <laughs> I like horchata. But it's not like, it's not coffee. Like, there's no caffeine in it. So, so what do I want to drink it for? Can you add caffeine? Um, like, do they have an espresso shot? I don't think it would be good in that. No? I got the strawberry horchata. <laughs> it tastes like strawberry milk. You know, back in the day, you would have strawberry milk. Oh, that Nestle powder? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. So I'm probably going to be farting there all day. Yeah, it's not really giving... Um, it's not really giving... So, but it's been fun having Bobby around, although she was gone most of the time. Ripping and running. Um, I was not ripping and running. I had work. And then you would come in and then you run back out to go to the gym. So she was busy doing her thing too. But it was still nice to have her around. We went out to eat, what, two, three times? Mm -hmm. And I do have a video from when we went out to eat. But when school started, honey, it's been crazy crazy more so because i had to move classrooms so i had more work to do i would say than the average teacher because you know moving my room is like moving an apartment so 
I had like the, a lot of work. And so today is Sunday. Don't know when I'm gonna get this up. I have a lot of work. I gotta do my hair. So I'm just going to do a, I'm going to color my hair. I have a box opening for that. I'm gonna show y'all how I color my hair with braids. And then I'm gonna use this product from my little niecey poo. I forgot the name of her company. I gotta look it up. But honey, she started her locks. They were about right here. And now her locks are draped down her back, child. And I was like, oh, can I use your products, you know, on my braids? She was like, yeah, that's a protective style. And so I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. And she said she threw in something a little extra. And she said, they're gonna smell, my braids gonna smell good. So I am looking forward to you know, shampooing my hair. And as you know, I don't, I never take all my braids out at once. I have to do it in sections. So if I have time, I'll just do this section right here. And I really need to do these edges, honey. <laughs> At least I got a few edges left, but I gotta do my little color first, okay? And Bobby has been rocking her hair. So she's getting her hair braided. Not at basketball, she'll be back to training for basketball. I'm back at the hotel, so you don't need to come back upstairs. Mm. Bobby's leaving. Did you tell him about that story? What? What that guy said to you? Um, so Bobby was going. What? Okay, you tell us. Um. What? When I was in the elevator? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I was just coming back from the gym, and I was walking in, and it's like a intersection. So I'm walking down this hallway, and the hallway, the main hallway, runs perpendicular to where I was walking so I cross paths with this with this guy and as soon as we he sees me he looks at me and he was like damn and I was like and he was like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I did not mean to say that out loud I'm so I'm so sorry like oh my god that sounded so bad like I'm so sorry like I did not mean it but like not like that like I, I'm really sorry like I've been drinking a little you know how I, I you know how sometimes people get like I just I said it in my head but it came out loud he kept saying the same thing because we had to get on the elevator together and here like the elevator takes like a pretty good amount of time so we got on the elevator and he kept talking the whole time the whole time we were going up he was like, oh my god, we gotta get on the elevator together. Like, it's just, it, it's just like, in this elevator, it takes forever. Like, we're just gonna be on here all the whole time. And I was like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. It, I wasn't uncomfortable because it was like the most like respectful, like, he could have been in that situation. So, it wasn't like I was like extremely uncomfortable. And there was somebody else there too. So, um, but. It was funny, and now every time I come home from work, he's always outside, and every time he'll always like run over to the door to like open the door for me. He'll never say anything to me because I think maybe it's like awkward. <laughs> because he's probably afraid that <laughs> something's gonna come out wrong. Yeah, so like he never says anything to me, but it's not like, like I wasn't uncomfortable in the situation. Um, it was honestly kind of funny because he felt really, really bad. <laughs> what did he say, Bobby? You gotta do it the way he said it. <laughs> he was just like, damn! Yo, I literally kid you not, there wasn't one moment of silence on that elevator because of how <laughs> apologetic he was. And But the whole time he was like, I'm so sorry, like I didn't mean to say that. But at the same time, like I did not mean it. Like I hope we take it as a compliment, but like not in like that way. Like not like that. But it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. It was really funny. Bobby, do you have just, you just have one dimple? Yep. There's one. But not on the other side. And you know her, I think your, I think her father only had one dimple. I think he just had one. Does Sydney have it too? Mm hmm. What you don't know? I want to say your dad only had one. I know this, this subject could go on to something else. I just, he was a, a really decent dad. I just don't understand. I don't understand, and I've said this before, y'all know I repeat myself, so. I just don't understand, and I know she has to go. I just don't understand how someone walks away from their children. I don't get it. I don't either. I don't get it. 
And even for myself personally, I don't, my father knew I existed. He knew and just walked away from me too as a little baby. I, I don't understand how men do that. All right, y'all, let me go upstairs and get started with my day. It is 10 o'clock. I got a lot to do. A lot to do. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> I really am, because I gotta do my little website, and y'all know I'm extra. I can't help it, it's just who I am. I gotta create the website. Oh, the ghetto now, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. let me just take it off right now. I'm sorry. Continue. That's okay. Do what you gotta do, girl. No. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, come come on out. Get out the car so we can get our hugs in. Okay. <laughs>